What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today, hopefully, is some of the last videos you'll see where that wall is just boring and plain. Uh, I've got some really exciting things to put on the wall, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, so, unrelated to pens, but you know, why not? <laughs> Uh, so in the past I have posted my top three pens and ink combinations that I've liked to use during like a certain um, season and I will fully admit that I am consistently inconsistent uh, <laughs> with posting them season by season um, but I remembered I remembered uh, now that we have transitioned to spring to talk about the top three pens that I used for the winter season um, these are not shockingly uh, different from the last time I posted one, which was like last year, because I'm pretty sure I remember to do the, the winter one of 2022. Um, but yeah, I am transitioning into my spring choices now, uh, and I'm pretty excited to talk about that uh, in a few months when we transition into summer, because here, at least in the GTA of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, uh, spring only lasts for like two weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> we get into summer pretty darn quickly. Uh, and then that's basically, yeah, what this video is gonna be about. Um, I did also get a few requests for whatever reason um, to talk about the books that are here. What is going on with my hair? It's all floofy. Um, so I'm gonna do a, a short video, like literally one of the YouTube shorts for that. Um, so if you're interested, put a thumbs up in the uh, d like comments down below, just like a thumbs up emoji and or just write thumbs up. Uh, so let's jump into this. I'm gonna talk about the one that I have not shut up talking about for months now. Uh, I got it in January and it's been inked up ever since nonstop uh, and that is the Bennu Briolette Luminous Amber, uh, and I have inked that up with Diamine Ancient Copper. Um, I do have full reviews, by the way, of all of these pens, so if you wanna know more in detail, uh, check those out. Um, and I'm pretty sure the ink pairing may have been the same in those videos, <laughs> but you never know. Uh, this, yeah, I, I purchased this in, in January for my birthday and I have pretty much had it inked up ever since. Uh, it has a fine nib and I flippin' adore it. This is one of the luminous ones, so it does glow in the dark. I didn't buy it for that reason. I just bought it because it looks pretty and I, I like the colors a lot. Um, it has the smaller number five size nib which I thought was gonna be an issue, but honestly, this is one of the best writing pens that I have. Um, and it's so smooth, it's nice and wet, it's super, super reliable. Uh, like I said, I've had it inked up with Ancient Copper since January. Now, granted, I've refilled it like seven or eight times, uh, potentially even more than that, I don't know. Um, but I've never had any issues with like nib crusties or like, you know, it drying up or anything like that. Um, which I have had problems with some crusty issues <laughs> with this ink in the past, like if I've had it in like a Lamy 2000, for example, but never in this venue. Uh, and that is super, super exciting to me. Uh, and like I said, I've had it inked up nonstop um, and it is fully restocked and ready to go as we speak. Um, so I really, really, really like this pairing. Uh, I like the warm tones for the winter. It's cozy. Uh, I like the, the, um, that this light leans a little bit more red, but still within that brown family. Uh, and I think that they pair very, very well. So that is the one that I've pretty much uh, talked about nonstop <laughs> uh, since January that I um, just am obsessed, obsessed. Um, another pairing that I talk about frequently, and I talk about how I pretty much keep these two inked together almost always. The third one, I, I change the inks quite frequently in this pen, uh, but with the this one I'm about to talk about, um, I almost exclusively use this ink with this pen. And that is the Caveco Sport 
Uh, this one happens to be the, I think, coconut ice finish. Um, this one has a fine nib, I believe. Yes, a fine nib. Just, you know, the small Caveco steel nib. And I have it inked up with another dye mine ink. <laughs> dye mine Polar Glow. Uh, this I like in the winter because it's icy. It's, well, I mean, <laughs> coconut ice and polar glow. It's icy, it's wintry, it's cool temperatures. So while this one is warm and cozy, um, you know, to, to give me some comfort throughout the cold season, this one embraces the winter blasts uh, where, you know, it's sort of like the, the snow queen from like once upon a time uh, would, would have, you know, constantly inked up. Uh, this one is a sheening ink. Uh, so there's no no glitter or anything like that because I don't really like that um, but this sheens quite a lot so it's a very um, saturated dark blue ink with red sheen uh, if you do like shimmer then you can also get um, dye mine Jack Frost it's not quite as dark a blue um, but it does sheen and shimmer so you got the silver I believe it's silver glitter uh, plus the red sheen as well um, so you can get that if you want both but I just prefer this and I really like it in this pen specifically because again you get that icy finish uh, and I like the fact that you can kind of see through the pen but it's not a total um, demonstrator pen because I don't really love demonstrators that much I prefer translucent uh, or solid um, I do have their push converter in here, uh, which doesn't hold a ton of ink, so I do have to refill it, uh, you know, once every few days because I go through it that quickly, but I'm all right with it um, because I really like the process of filling up my pen. Um, you could eyedropper convert it, but I don't want to. I don't want to stain it, um, and I just don't really love eyedroppering. Uh, this pen is, again, very, very smooth. I have modified it slightly to be wetter, um, so I've separated the tines just a little bit uh, to really take advantage of the sheen from this ink. Uh, so I really like those as well. Now, this third pen uh, is one that I've talked about pretty frequently as well. Uh, shouldn't be a surprise if they're my top three inked uh, pens that I've talked about them frequently. Uh, and that is the Pilot Custom 912 with a Falcon nib and specifically the Ebonite feed with three slits in the feed. So this is a very, very, very wet pen. Uh, the reason why this, it's got the Con 70 converter. The reason why I love love the combination of the ebonite feed with the falcon nib uh, is for a couple of reasons one the ebonite feed naturally provides a little bit more uh, of a wetter flow the three slits in here provides maximum amount of flow so this thing is incredibly wet like truly a fire hose pen this is the wettest pen that i own uh, and I like that with the Falcon nib because the tines are meant to spread apart. It is a flex pen. Now it's not like a vintage flex where you're gonna go from like an extra, extra fine to like a triple broad, um, but it is you know meant to be flexed. Um, I don't really write uh, in you know a super calligraph calligraphic <laughs> calligraphy way, but what I love about it is that it really provides bounce and uh, it just naturally gives me that line variation. Uh, whereas the other pens that I have, uh, these two don't because they're very stiff steel nibs. Uh, whereas this one is definitely uh, soft. It is a 14 karat gold flex, uh, which is really, really, really nice. Now, I mentioned earlier that I pretty much always have a different ink going in here. What I adore in these pens uh, that you'll probably spoiler for spring is I really like to put the um, like the sailor inks that change the shade uh, the troublemaker inks that change shading so like the cro I had, I'm not gonna be able to say this right the chromatic like chromo whatever multi chromatic uh, inks like the you know sailor one two three or two two four that kind of stuff um, 
so that's what I've been using a lot lately uh, in this pen. Um, I only have one, so I have to be patient one at a time. Uh, but for the winter, I don't use those inks. For the winter, again, I like something uh, much more rich, much heavier. Uh, and for that, I use another Diamine ink. This winter was dominated by Diamine, uh, and that is Diamine Writer's Blood. This comes out almost black because the pen is so, so, so wet. Uh, it is very, very wet. Um, it is a dark red ink that's like almost slightly purpley, uh, but this one in this pen, holy moly, it is so dark and I love it. It's a very dark burgundy, basically. Um, this ink is really cool because depending on what pen you have it in, you'll get very different colors um, from like, if you have it in a really dry pen, you'll get almost like a light pink um, all the way to like a super dark burgundy. Uh, and I really, really love it. Most of the time when I buy dye mine inks, I just get the little uh, 30 mil bottles because even then I barely go through that. Um, obviously I don't have a choice <laughs> with this one, um, but I chose to get the 80 mil for Diamine Writer's Blood after I went through a sample of it because I knew I'd fallen in love. Uh, and it's hard to tell because it is so dark, but I've probably used up in the last, like, I think I've had this for about a year or maybe two, but I've probably used about 20 mils. So I wouldn't have gone quite through a 30 mil bottle, um, but I've certainly gone through a good chunk of it, uh, and I really love these two together. So with this, I get that warm, comfort, cozy feel. Uh, with this, I get the very cool, icy, like, you know, blizzard type feel. Uh, and then with these two, I get sort of an in-between. This is like the the rich dessert that you have after your dinner, that like heavy cloak feeling. Um, so those are the three pairings that I chose for the winter. They were the ones that I pretty much used nonstop, um, you know, throughout the winter. Uh, going into spring, I mean, obviously I do still have this one inked up, but to be fair, I have others uh, that I am starting to use more than this now. Um, these two are out of the rotation for now, uh, but like I said, this will probably be inked up with some of those chromo, chromatic uh, inks. Um, but going into spring, yes, I'm definitely starting to use more of the multi-shading inks, um, but you'll have to stay tuned for uh, when summer comes and I will talk about what I actually used the most throughout spring. So let me know in the comments down below uh, by saying either a thumbs up or giving me the thumbs up emoji if you wanna see the short for what is on uh, these books here. Um, but let me know also in the comments down below what your favorite pairing was. It doesn't have to be three, could be three, could be five, could be one, I don't really care. What did you enjoy the most throughout the winter season? Uh, what was your favorite pairing? Uh, and then while you're down there, you might as well hit the like button to tell me that you like this video. Hit the subscribe if you want to see every Monday and Friday uh, and the occasional Tuesday. Uh, and uh, if you're down there anyways, you might as well check out the link in the description uh, to find my Patreon account if you would like to help support me and what I do here. Um, but otherwise, as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.